welcome everybody to my channel and welcome to this uh, making of guided ocean layer extended version today we will be talking about creating the initial setup of the tank fluid for the ocean already we have our submarine uh, being created and ready to be included in the animation so this is the topic of today hopefully you will enjoy it so by using the shelf tool couple of nodes will be created and one of them is the guided ocean layer initial where we have here the submarine as object merge it will come from here and here if you have any other collision all of them will be merged here then we have this node this is the wave tank this is where all the magic will be prepared where it will accept many uh, attribute between uh, ocean tank wave flat tank so in this case we are using the ocean source and for it to make it work it will expect a spectrum which will be creating the wave so the network of the spectrum is in here automatically it will be created this is where we will define the surface wave and the speed of it and how chaotic it will be and its direction and it will uh, give us this preview here so we can see it in real time and the output will be connected to the spectrum here and this ocean source or uh, the wave tank will give us uh, plenty of uh, fields among them we will need particles and we will need volume or the, or the surface which these two things will be required to do the narrow band because here it will be activated beside that we need also boundary layer for the velocity and uh, we need also in case we have a sink or yeah in case we have sink, but mainly we need the surface here and we need the velocity here so both can be used in the boundary layer that will be required to uh, keep the water from uh, dying and being removed and refilling it and making sure the edges of the tank is being flat as much as possible so it can be uh, synchronized with the flat extended surface so let's go to Houdini and find out more about these nodes so down here when we went to the ocean we pressed on guided ocean layer and this node plus this one is being created so we are interested in the guided ocean layer so let's type in <coughs> so here I have my imported geometry that's only the submarine and it's being animated <coughs> the wave tank as we talked about previously it will need the collision geometry and the spectrum the spectrum you can see here it is following the collision because here we are following it also <coughs> in the ocean spectrum node we can play with the wind the most important part so we can have it uh, strong or weak accordingly so as you can see the wave even we can make it bigger and we can control the resolution and the direction bias and the direction movement 
and also the amplitude let's make it thin now in the wave tank here we can define the size and the volume of the tank we can make it bigger or smaller also the particle separation is connected to the autodop network <coughs> and as you can see in the initialization I have a wave tank guided ocean layer the one we are using flat tank flat tank we don't need this I think and pH tank so for the guided water layer as you can see here it's empty down below because this is the initialization of the narrow band see so the tank is full with water but we don't need we don't need to fill it up all with particles like this we're talking about 3 million particle with the narrow band we went down to 500,000 so the volume here will affect the particle movement which make our simulation much faster and this is the water level you can make it up or down we have the surface the velocity boundary layer which are a little bit smaller than the tank itself so it will try to normalize it with the extended surface as much as it can you can see in the out we have a surface we have bones and we have velocity that's in this part but here I have surface velocity and the bones so automatically it will be separated by Houdini shelf tool so I have the particles here only the particle at the surface with the blast node we're keeping only the surface so this is the surface and beside it we have the velocity sink if we need it but we don't have it and guided surface if we need it in this part we will continue and talk about the autodop network to create the flip solver uh, with the guided ocean layer flip object and uh, the definition for the surface velocity in case we have a sink it will be included in the gas guided volume this node here included here in the volume uh, at fiction and the flip solver we will go through it and see the parameter that we are using so this is the DOB network and immediately you can recognize the narrow band only at the surface and around the object so here I have my static object that being deformed and because it's a simple object that didn't uh, generate a VDB in the guided ocean layer the flip object this is the resolution the lower the more detail we will have the slower it will be it will consume more RAM and I'm using closing boundary so the water will not slip out and here you have the narrow band that is uh, pointing to the guided ocean layer initial out particle and surface and the velocity that we can modify also so if I go here <coughs> see out boundary velocity this one we already have it here if I add it volume velocity and we give it some movement let's say a vortex so immediately you will see that changes here so 
in the particle let's increase it to 50 80 100 so we can see the visualization let's have a look so we have the spectrum wave coming we have the vortex let me decrease the spectrum because it's very big let's stop it and if you remember here I just make it lower in the wind direction speed let's go slow and we want it here and the resolution 7 is enough grid size slower the chop is less speed even less something like that okay let's go to the autodog network have a look see the vortex in effect and it's massive so we'll decrease it Angular velocity 0.2 Little bit Okay, so we'll continue Here we have the initial out guided surface and out boundary that will be used in the where we will use it here for these two parts for the uh, boundary layer the particle motion behavior we are receding so whenever the water drop it will be refilled according to the water line droplets we can detect any uh, single droplet that we can delete it or include it in the white water and we are adding the vorticity attribute that will be helpful in the white water I decreased very much the velocity smoothing so we can have more crazy splashy detail fill new volume use white water all activated and the collision we increase it by 1.5 so we have more reaction and uh, collision with the rigid body so after we finish our simulation we go to the next step the next step is guided ocean layer fluid this is where we import our particle simulation and prep it for the remeshing so here I have the guided ocean layer fluid imported from the DOP network and we are uh, removing uh, the collision of the ship and there is a sink it will be activated and here we have the fluid compress so we can have a smaller file size on the hard disk then we cache it to the hard disk and from here we can view it by the particle fluid surface so we can see it on the viewport and then we can remesh it by the particle fluid surfacing and meshing and then we cache it so let's dive in so here we are inside the guided uh, ocean layer fluid we import and we compress and then we cache so this is the cache 
and here we can preview it as a particle or particle and compressed fluid and surface but I keep to the particle and I can, as you can see here in the, this attribute triangle if you press here you have a droplet attribute so this is the droplet let's go to uh, any frame so as you can see these points are droplet so I'm deleting them blasting them away let's take something in the middle the scatter very high we are removing this is before this is after maybe we can add another condition according to the, its proximity if it's very high or very fast that we kill it or move it to the white water to be included in that render After that, see here with the boundary layer, it will try to make it flat as much as it can. Here it's chaotic and it cooled down, so it can blend with the extended virgin. Then the particle fluid surface. I didn't use this node because I want to use the extended one that's uh, where the region and the masking uh, uh, need to happen so I didn't catch it here the extended ocean layer I'll add it in another video see you there